And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, rock cod Rick Maxa, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup, Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray and Rock God Rick Maxa. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. We're live at North County Ford in Vista, California. Come on down right off the 78 freeway at Vista Village Drive. Easy to find right off the freeway. Come on down and join us. We have the unofficial fishing mayor of North County here today, Ken Corwin from Ken's Custom Reels. And uh, we're going to be having some fun talking to Ken, talking fishing. It's happening. It's summertime in Southern California, and we're live at North County Ford and Vista. So come on down and join us. This is Let's Talk Hookup, Southern California's sport fishing voice on the Mighty 1090. It's summertime in San Diego, and that means a couple of things. The getting is good for yellowfin and bluefin off our Southern California coast. A road trip to bag some high Sierra trout sounds like a great weekend. And the Ford Summer Sales Event has started at your San Diego County Ford dealers. In fishing, we love to get away, and we love to have the best gear. And right now is the perfect time to upgrade to a brand new Ford truck or SUV. The absolute best piece of fishing gear you could have. During the summer sales event, your San Diego County Ford dealers have great offers on a wide variety of trucks and SUVs, including great financing and cashback offers on some of the most popular models. They've got deals across their lineup to get you into the perfect size SUV for you. And they've got deals on F-150, Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. Great payload and towing capabilities make it the perfect piece of tackle. Learn more at buy fordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. For decades, the Kona Kai has been considered San Diego's premier marina resort and spa. Now with millions of dollars in upgrades, the Kona Kai Resort is a destination for travelers worldwide who can live it every day. The docks and services are the finest quality in San Diego, and the Kona Kai is the closest marina to the open ocean. As a marina tenant, you enjoy many benefits, including secured free parking, a deluxe health club, swimming pool, and more. Enjoy discounts at their restaurant, bar, and hotel. If you don't have a boat, there are memberships available at a very affordable price. The Kona Kai Club has been offering members a home away from home since 1953. Members can spend their days on Kona Kai's private beach, meet new people in the club's modern lounge, share a meal with family at Bessel Restaurant and Bar, or pamper themselves in Spa Terra. Check out ResortKonaKai.com on the web for more information, to reserve a slip, or inquire about joining the club. The Kona Resort, like being on vacation every day in your own backyard. You've heard all about it. You know the angler's catching fish habit, so what's holding you back? It's a fact. FishDope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. FishDope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. FishDope.com is for everyone, whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a sport boat. FishDope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot Bite icons and more. So, bottom line is, if you don't have fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain! Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. We're live at North County Ford in Vista. Always a great turnout already, a big crowd here. We're going to have a lot of fun. So many of our friends in North County. This is a really fun show to get to see everybody and hang out and talk some fishing. Indeed, yeah. North County Ford in Vista, easy to find just off the 78 freeway in Vista, Vista Village Drive. Just turn off the freeway, turn left, and... Uh, or right, either way, whichever <laughs> way you're coming, right? And if you're coming from Oceanside area, turn left. If you're coming from Escadillo area, turn right. And you're right here. Drive right in and uh, grab a chance to 
Come on in. We have the Shimano casting contest getting ready. Dave Dolan's here. And, of course, Cowboy and Tommy P have a ton of prizes to give away uh, here. And, uh, of course, this is the chance to qualify for those big grand prizes that are coming up quickly. This is number three of four. That's cool. Yeah. And the people here at North County Ford, very, very accommodating. And I uh, want to thank them for hosting this for us today. A lot happening here in Vista. Um, just... Uh, Every time I come, I've lived in Vista for 20 plus years, yeah. and every time I come back to Vista, it's like there's a new building somewhere, <laughs> right? right, Ken? It's like the North County is booming. It's growing. It's yeah. growing. There's yeah. lots of people. I see they're building a, there's some going That's on. That's a new, the uh, new car dealership over there. Wow. Yeah, the Vista Entertainment Center is gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> yeah. That's right. That's yeah. what that was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Ken, busy down at the uh, harbor oh, there man. at Ken's Custom Reels, right? Oh, yeah. You know, this, uh, my gosh, we're, we've been blessed with four seasons now of, of uh, incredible opportunity on these big fish, and it's changed uh it's changed everybody's outlook on tackle and, and what they need to try to tackle these big fish. So yes. um, it's an ongoing evolution in, in what people are looking for out there. And so it's, it's fun. It's yeah. entertaining for oh, sure. Yeah. In addition to doing everything like you guys do, you're, you and your crew you are so synonymous with big fish fishing. You know, you guys do so much long-range fishing and so much – big stuff and you know that's a specialized deal all this big fish going on and like there there are not a lot of places that can you know professionally do what you guys do at ken's custom from everything from the tackle to wind ons to rigging to everything and there's very few places that have the ability and personnel like ken's does well thanks rick but you know we uh it, it, the bigger the fish gets <laughs> the more important every little detail becomes um so yeah we've uh We've tried to tailor all of our stuff to where you're going to be successful. If you're lucky enough to hook one, you're going to hopefully land it. Hook, Give us an pulled example. Hook, pulled hooks aside, yeah. you should be able to land the fish. Give us an example of some of the preparation that you get people to uh, to, to get these big fish on the deck. Well, on, uh, so on the yummy flyer uh, end of it, um, we rig the yummy flyers. Um, we have a really good success rate on our flyers. We never ha- we have, have yet to have a leader failure on on the connections. We've wow. seen hooks break, mm-hmm. um, which is a testament to how strong exactly. the rest of the, hey, I, the exactly gear. Exactly what I was going to say. Those are the big hooks. Hooks, but um, what I think what happens the failures we've seen has has been on the treble hook that we put on the on the on the, on the above the tail on. The bait, um, I think that hook gets in in a, in a direction where it's not designed to pull. It gets torqued sideways mm-hmm. and uh, it breaks. Mm-hmm. And it's impressive the yeah. size yeah. of that hook that it can actually break. And a, the very, power. a very rare failure, but it's yeah. big fish fishing. And yeah. that's the thing that, man, stuff can, will, yeah. does go no wrong always. And then we, uh, so on that setup, then we, uh, uh, the reels are normally loaded with a lot of 130 pound. Um, spectra with a loop pulled in it and a 200 pound visor wind on leader 20 feet of that and it's pretty it's pretty darn it's incredible the success success rate on that um, That setup setup yeah yeah. now you you know we're we're fortunate we have a couple commercial guys um, in the harbor that um, are very good at what they do and so field testing over the last four years, I've got the best guys there is to try to ruin yeah. what we make. <laughs> they're professionals at ruining they're things. They're professionals. It's, so y- and, and so the testing ground yeah. is, is it's solid. So it's not guesswork. It's, it's tried and true gear. These are, the, these are the guys that are out there catching a lot of them. A and lot they know, of them. And, and you get the input from them and such. Oh, okay, it's, a, so it's a daily it's a daily. What happens session, yeah. Yeah. you know, when they get back, we go over um, what's working, what's not working. So How can we improve it? So, so describe, yeah. describe what Ken's Custom Reels is. Uh, Ken's Custom Reels is more than just custom reels, right? Yeah, well, it's Ken's Custom Reels service and repair. So that's the custom part. Right. Um, we don't make custom reels. Um, but we service and repair everything, all reels, all types, all vintage Um if it comes down to parts, if we can get parts, we can fix anything. Um, but we also have a tackle shop there. While you're 
so we, our main line is working on reels. That's job one. And we sell tackle on the side. So um, our expertise is in the reels. But we fish. We love to fish. It's our life. And uh, so we have the tackle, um, new and used, rods and reels, all the appropriate tackle for the fishing we do in our area. Okay. And very complete for that amount, too. I mean, it's the, it, you have it, all of the right stuff. Yeah. It's a... It's, uh, well, you got to stop by and see my mess. It's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's an or- it. organized. It's taken mess. a lot of years to create that mess. Yeah, perfectly. So. Yeah. 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 So, uh, talking. Let's stay on that subject of giant bluefin tuna, because like you guys have been the closest ones there at Oceanside mm-hmm. Harbor to San Clemente Island, which is kind of the the focal zone the, lately of of where that big fish has been. Um, what do you, if somebody comes in and says, "I want to go yeah. catch 200 pound tuna." Um, what do I need? What are you going to set them up with? I'm going to set them up with a uh, a 50 um, size reel. Okay. 50 wide. If they, um, well, I I think a 50 is plenty of reel, plenty of line. Um, 50 wide is just gives you more line. Um, a rod that's uh, rated to fish 130 pound line. Okay. You um, going to go bent butt or straight? You know. For a guy to spend his money wisely, if he has other fishing in his in his um, in his program, then um, we stay away from the bent butt because that is specific to that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of stand-up rods that do just fine. You can leave them in the rod holder for a period of time, um, not right to the bitter end, but. Um, so that's the advantage of a bent butt is you can leave that rod in the rod holder to the bitter end, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, it, you need to because when you pull it out, you're worthless. You yeah, can't you can't. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's why I'm not a huge fan of that because mm-hmm. things happen where um, you may, uh, for whatever reason, you may not be able to stay in that corner. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially at the end when right. things can get a little dicey. So, um but a 50 loaded with 130-pound, 200-pound um, wind on a liter, properly rigged, yummy, several of them because they can get destroyed out there. Um, kite clips, never. We, I never sell anybody one kite yeah, clip. That's smart. <laughs> you know, at least two kite clips because if you fumble that when you get out there, you finally get out there and you're going to set up and you drop your kite clip in the water. That's kind of yeah. <laughs> sucks for the day. You're kind of screwed. So, yeah. um, and then uh, a lot of luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Timing. Send them in the right direction. Yeah. 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 And, and, and stay with it. You know, if they, if that's what they want to do, then then you can't go. Oh, there's a kelp. Let's go fish it. You need to. I say, game plan. We're gonna do this the is yummy what flyer. This is what you're focusing. Get on. out there and uh, hopefully they get up on on the surface while you're there. I yeah. mean, there, there. That's the thing that I just can't keep stress. There are a lot of places where you can buy a big reel and a yummy flyer and things, but what you can't buy is a Ken or a Wes or a Jamie or somebody r- rigging it appropriately and, and showing you the finer points of doing it, how to get a kite in the air and how to yep. put the clips in line and things together. And that's what you're that's what you're paying for is well, there's a ton of places to go get it, but there are very, very few of them that know all of the finer points. And guys that are willing to show you how to do it, and, and, and Ken and Wes and everybody there, that that is it. Oh, man, we, we want you to see that. 200-pound bluefin explode on your yummy flyer bag. It's the coolest thing in the world, yeah. period. It's, it is the coolest thing ever. You see that once, and, and it won't, you won't have any trouble dedicating the day to <laughs> see that again. So, yeah. Yeah. It's, no a, it's, it's such a visual because you have to fish that yummy. You have to watch what you're doing. You have to get it to skip and skip and fly. So um, eyes on it, you see the strike, and it's Man, oh, man. So, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting all fired up. Here, yeah, so. <laughs> thinking about that strike, right? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. And, and what's cool about it, too, is that a lot of the sport fishing boats, too, the one-day boats, the yeah. half boats, two-day boats, have been getting on that program, too, well, they, right? They, Giving people the opportunity of a lifetime. They've got it figured out. We, we had a three-day. We sponsored a three-day in July on the American Angler. We had 29 people on the boat. The first fish in the afternoon of the first day, um, and this is kind of an entry uh, long range experience. Um, so it's a real diverse group of people. 
There were nine people that came from the Bay Area. Only one of them had tackle. So um, dedicating 29 people to fish one bait. Yeah, that's um, challenging. You don't, well, you don't know how it's going to go. However, the first fish that hit the deck was 205 pounds. Wow. They were kind of all in after seeing that <laughs> fish. You know, they'd never seen a fish like it. So now... Now it's like uh, everybody's on the same team. It doesn't matter whose rotation it is up there. Everybody's cheering for them, and everybody's cool. watching that bait, and everybody wants it to happen, yeah. regardless whether it's your turn or not. So, so, so how'd that trip end up? It ended up great. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so, so in this in this um, time frame, we spent the mornings fishing billions of bluefin that wouldn't bite with bait. Uh-huh. You know, so they saw the other. We saw both sides of the coin. Sure. We can do this all day and not catch anything, or we can get that flyer back up there and try and catch. We'll get a big yeah. one. So I think we had five over two. Wow. And wow. Uh, another four or five that weren't quite two. A couple flatball fish. Wow. And a, and a handful of bait fish, but for the amount of bait we threw in the water, there should have been a lot more yeah. bait <laughs> fish. But yeah. Um, actually, we saw Rick out there that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh, I would challenge anybody to see one of those giant bluefin just detonate on that rubber flying fish and not try to scream like yeah. it's impossible. <laughs> it is impossible. Oh, yeah. like, oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, it's, if it you is. if you weren't looking that way, you're certainly looking there. <laughs> you're looking there. Yeah. There's For no sure. there's no doubt what just happened. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so one of the things is you say you're American angler, you do a lot of trips on the American angler, and certainly going out with the right guys that know how to get. Get big fish on yeah, that they, boat. Yeah, they got it pretty well yeah, figured out. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, and the cool thing is <laughs> and about I the always, Ameri- I, I have to give them my input, so. Yeah. And they just, they just laugh at me and go ahead and do it. But the cool thing is you say, well, guys come down without tackle, and that's not an issue on American Anchor. Yeah. Lori oh, no. and the gang will set you up with the right tackle. You just get yeah. on the boat. Just bring enough clothes for the trip, and you're golden. Yeah. Everything else is ready. They're ready to go. Yeah. I'm waiting for the first long-range boat to have, like, a washer-dryer on the boat, you know. So, like, you only have to bring, like, like when you would go to Cedros or something like that, you know, you only have to bring one change yeah, of clothes. Bring a backpack yeah. Yeah, for, exactly. for your long-range trip. Yeah. Well, but then we need somebody to run that. Yeah, so. That's so. true. <laughs> Off the deck, right? Let's have Blake take care of that. Yeah, Blake, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. So, going back to that trip, one of the guys, I, I don't believe he ever fished on the ocean before. And his first fish was 204 pounds. Come so, on, nice. so, isn't that always know, the way it is? He goes, right? "Oh, I'm going to sign back up. This is fun. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> do this more often. <laughs> that's that's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah. So it's not just about big fish in Oceanside at Ken's and stuff. You guys halibut derbies and you fished a lot. You know, it's a good focal point for halibut and bass and yeah, we you know, have, local you know, yellowtail. Sometimes we have really good fishing in Oceanside. Um, you know, the joke is, well, everything's five miles straight out of the harbor. That's where everything happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we have a local club that we have some tournament, monthly tournaments in, Oceanside Anglers Club. Um, and we're kind of the unofficial clubhouse there. But uh, halibut fishing can be really good in Oceanside. It's, there's a lot of um, hard bottom areas. Yeah. Um, so, and halibut happen all year long. We had one of our guys caught a 54-pounder out there what? last oh September. Gosh. So there's wow. some, some real ones. Yeah. No, yeah. That's, a, that's a really good halibut. Zone. And as the yellowtail get up the coast, yeah. um, it's good yellowtail fishing. And oftentimes the tuna show up not too far away. So Sea bass. Yeah, that's yeah. Try yeah. to get that information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. And, and a really nice and easy facility to launch a boat from too. You know, I mean, yes. especially if you're fishing at you know San Clemente or you're going to Catalina or something like that, and you're from mm-hmm. San Diego, it's a it'll shorten your distance and a really nice and easy facility to launch a private boat from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a good angle coming home. Yeah. You know. The best. So. Yeah. Not quite as good as San Diego, but. Yeah. It's pretty pleasant. Cool, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. Live at North County Ford and Vista. Come on down. They've got a lot full of cars, Ford cars and trucks that they have uh, some great deals on right now. Some great incentives from Ford right now. So North County Ford, the guys are here waiting for you. Want to talk to you about a new Ford car or truck. 
this is the place to do it. North County Ford and Vista right off the 78 freeway. Come on down and join us and uh, win some great prizes, right, Rick? Boy, you're not kidding. Wait till you hear the list of things we're giving away today at our live broadcast here at North County Ford. Tons of great stuff. And, boy, for everybody that comes down and joins this morning and step up to the microphone, if you've got a question for the master, Ken Corwin, or want to participate in the show, we want to hear from you. Just see the cowboy. Let him know that you'd like to ask a question. Or Tommy P., they'll get a, your information written down and get it to Pete. And everybody who steps up to the microphone today, to ask a question is going to be in the running for a brand new pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. And this is a brand new style. It's the Tumble In. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. So we're stoked about that. A brand new pair of Maui Gyms. This Tumble In has the matte tortoise frame with black temples, which is really good looking. The lens is the HCL bronze, and it's got that great Maui Gym super thin glass. It's as Darn near as light as a pair of polycarbonates, but with that fantastic performance, yeah. it's just a, a, an awesome, awesome pair of glasses. What I learned at ICAST is that Maui Jim improved their ultra-thin, super-thin glass, so now it's ultra-thin glass. It's, the, it's even thinner and lighter than it was before. Crazy. And because this is a new style, it has that brand-new that brand new Ultra thin, super thin glass. <laughs> right. Howie Jim's coming out, so that's a, that's a pretty good prize. Yeah, and you're not kidding. Well, we're really stoked to get to that. And again, that's everybody who steps up to the microphone, <laughs> asks questions, going to be eligible in those great glasses. As always, we're doing the casting contest. Uh, Dave Dolan and, and Grant are out there with the casting contest. Sign up for that. Some really killer prizes for that today, too. Check this out. So three winners of the casting contest, first, second, and third place, are going to have your opportunity at winning a brand-new Shimano rod, a Talus Blue Water rod. In addition to that, one person is going to win their, uh, a package that has two trips in it. This is one full-day trip to go fishing aboard the San Diego at a C4 Sport Fishing and a full-day trip to go fishing out of the Liberty and Fisherman's Landing. So two full-day passes, going to be another one of the prizes. And we've talked about it a bunch, those awesome Anza Filet Knives, a custom handmade knife. Uh, just so some really, really great casting contest prizes. Um, also, the winner of the casting contest is going to qualify for winning two of those great grand prizes, as well as everybody in attendance is going to ticket for all of the great grand prizes or great prizes that we're giving away, you're going to fill out an entry form when you get here to be one of the eight qualifiers that's going to win one of our two double grand prizes. The trip number one, or the, the first trip, is a trip for one to Cedros Kayak Fishing and a Hobie Mirage Drive kayak from Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay. The second prize is a trip for two to go down to Rancho Leonero and Baja's East Cape. That includes two days of fishing and round-trip tickets on Alaska Airlines from anywhere from San Diego, Orange County, or LAX right into Los Cabos. Uh, we're going to draw one of the qualifiers at the end of the show today. All you need to do is come down, fill out a ticket, be present at the end, and you have your shot at winning one of those great trips. I, I can't yep. even believe it. Or you win the casting contest. Yeah, yeah. That's the other qualifier, right? Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. yeah, you win the casting contest, you're in. You, uh, or you're you the lucky draw. draw. Yeah, it's awesome. And yeah. always throughout the end of the show, too, or during all the breaks, rather, we give away a ton of prizes. And I wish you could see this table's worth of prize, AFCO clothing and Rapala and Williamson lures and Shimano jerk baits and angle tumblers. Just so much great stuff that are being given away Power throughout Pro, all the breaks. Power Pro, Max Quattro. There's a spool of that in there. And also, uh, uh, there's. Colt sniper jerk baits yeah. that you can't even buy. Good luck trying a whole to find bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. Good luck trying but to you find can win one right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so a great opportunity, some great prizes. Again, best thing to do, just come on down and join us here at North County Four. We're having tons of great times, lots of great fun. And if you can't make it or you're on the way down, you want to get us on the phone, we want to hear from you that way too. If you want to call us this morning, two numbers available. First is our local line, which is 858 area code 457 1090. Again, 858 858- Four five seven ten ninety. That's our local number. Or reach us toll free. That toll free line is eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. One more time, eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety. When we come back, we're going to be taking your phone calls. Lots of great info coming your way. You stay tuned. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty ten ninety. Pete here to tell you about our friends Jim and Mary and their incredible crew at Poway Valley Collision. I hear it all the time. Hey, I took my car to Poway Valley Collision, and you were right. Mentioned you guys, and they gave us the VIP treatment, fixed our car, and even gave us a special price. Believe me when I say Poway Valley Collision is worth the drive from anywhere in the Southland. We know you may not need them now, but when accidents happen, it pays to go to Poway Valley Collision. And I'm not fooling. Our listeners can save hundreds of dollars 
dollars on your car or truck repair. They work with most insurance companies, including Auto Club, MetLife, and Wawanisa, and more. All you do is call Jim, Mary, or any of their team members, and they do all the rest. No hassles, just top-notch work and VIP treatment. I had my car repaired at Poway Valley Collision, and the job was perfect. So get your vehicle fixed right at Poway Valley Collision, 14211 Garden Road in Poway. Check PowayValleyCollision.com. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellowtail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing through the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check out sadosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available. Or call 619-223-1627. Here's John Ireland for Rancho Leonero. The main emphasis on the ranch, we're going to keep it old style. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to improve what we have. The kitchen is brand new. Brand new kitchen this year. We all new uh, kitchen equipment, new stoves, ovens. We put a new freezer in. We've put in uh, all brand new split air conditioners with thermostats to make sure every room is cold. We've also worked on the boat fleet with a couple large lures, a 31 and a 34. We've got the uh, largest super ponga fleet on the East Cape, all with brand new Yamaha. Baja Motors. Brand new beds. We've got all sort of beds, the best beds in Baja, I kid you not. We're working all the time at the ranch. We're not changing it, just making it a lot better. That's why we get the high trip advisor reviews. It's my responsibility. i got to take care of you. I'll personally guarantee your best fishing experience and vacation at Rancho Leonero. RanchoLeonero.com. Our new reservation phone number is 800-646-2252. 646-Baja. XEPRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Again, live here at North County Ford and Vista. Having a great time, great crowd, and plenty of time to come join us, man. We're, ha- we're going to have a great show with Ken. Win some great prizes. Take a look at a new Ford car or truck. Take advantage of their summer sales event uh, happening right now. You can save thousands of dollars on Ford cars and trucks here at North County Ford. Come on down and uh, check it out. It's a great dealership, great people here at North County Ford. We want to thank them very much. Arnie! Step up to that mic, Arnie. You're up on the Let's Talk Hookup show first here at North County Ford and Vista. And I might add, too, you know, get on that list for the casting contest. They're going to try and run through everybody here, get through everybody on the casting contest. See, Dave. Uh, And then also uh, make sure you get your ticket, your random draw ticket. uh, In the the hopper, we'll draw that at 9 o'clock to randomly pick somebody for that grand prize, as well as uh, the raffle prize, too. So... Uh, come on down, North County Ford, win some stuff, and talk some fishing. Right, Arnie? What's up, Arnie? Good back, guys. Hey, what's going on? Good Great morning. to see everybody today. Good morning. A uh, question I have is for Ken. Uh, basically, the most reels that are out there on the market, can you make improvements to most of the drags on most reels? And the other thing I had, what is a common thing most of us anglers can do to kind of prevent failures? Two for good questions. Fresh, let's answer the second one first. Okay. Fresh water. Fresh water is your friend. On your reels. So um, we see, my gosh, we see what how destructive, it, it's hard to describe the destructive properties of salt water. It will ruin anything. And since we're fishing all this stuff in the salt water, your best maintenance is fresh water when you're done fishing. Um, as far as improving Let reels, me, can, can, I, can I just expand on that, or just get more your suggestion? How is that best applied? I know that sounds dumb, but I mean, is it a garden hose? Is it a spray bottle? Is it soaking it in a bucket of water? Like, how how is that best so, achieved? So this is what this is what I found works best, and it, and it takes a, it takes several days for you to accomplish this. But if you just simply rinse your reel off, it can be with a spray bottle, um, light spray with a hose, 
you don't need to immerse it in fresh water, but fresh water knocks the salt down on the exterior of the reel. The salt water that gets in the reel, and if you turn the handle and wind line on your reel out there, you are going to get salt water inside your reel. Um, there's no way for you to wash that out, but what you can do to prevent the destruction from continuing is after you've rinsed it, set it, set your reel somewhere where you're going to walk by it for the next couple days. And every time you walk by your reel, pick it up and turn it. Turn the handle, move the lever. If you can move something on the reel, move it. And that allow that, what, as the salt that's in the reel tries to dry, that's when it starts grabbing all the bearings and the destruction begins. Um, if you can keep rotating it, if you can keep moving it, it doesn't allow that salt to take a grip on anything. Um, so, because, you know, we've all done it. We put our reel away, it's nice and clean. We go pick it up three weeks later and it doesn't want to move. It's because the salt was keep allowed to moving. dry. Yeah, the salt was allowed to dry on, dry on its own without right. you interrupting its process. It's okay. destruction. Good so, stuff. That's great tip. And the, yeah. other, and yeah. the other question was? Uh, basically, making it uh, what most We can improve anything. But <laughs> anything. <laughs> but um, the new stuff, the new gear that's available now is, you know, all the real, real manufacturers have stepped up their game. Um, they all have quality drags. They all have quality bearings. Um, we can smooth out a lot of things. We, I think we can improve any reel. But um, the new stuff that you buy is pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. We're, we've, we've, we have, I think Southern California more than anybody has forced the real manufacturers to pay attention to what they do. Um, and they paid attention. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. cool. Yeah. Very good. All Thanks, right, thank Arnie, for coming down to North County Ford uh, in Vista, uh, your hometown, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Michael Connor is next up. Mike, come on up to the mic and uh, uh, ask a question, make a comment here. Well, oh, Mike's casting. We're gonna we're gonna wait to. How about Neil Norton? Neil came down from Claremont here. Neil, come on in. While Neil's right. coming up, I got one for Ken. You were talking about salt getting on to things and. And the one thing that I think that, like you said, any time that the line is turning, you know, lines getting in between the spool freight and the frame and things happen. And I've, you know, we've had a bunch of guys come into the shop, like, with whatever. And you can insert any brand you want, say, this reel is BS, man. Yeah. I just bought this thing, and it's brand new, and the spool doesn't spin like it should. Or the handle, the handle's real stiff. And like you say, salt can, it doesn't a lot of time, but it can get on to any one. And you can insert any brand at any price point, and yeah, if a piece of salt winds up in the wrong spot, it will tighten up a bearing or freeze a handle. Or There's no salt-proof reel. No <laughs> manufacturer has figured that out yeah. yet. And, and even, even if you take your reel and put it on the boat and never use the reel, you're still out there in the salt water. The air has salt in it. There's spray. There's deckhands with hoses. There's people running by splashing water on your reel, and it's salt water. Yeah, it happens. It can, it can be a reel that you never even touched, but that salt still gets in there. And, it's in there. Uh, <laughs> bl believe me, the destruction. You that see step, it. Yeah, no, you this, see this it all. This is the guy. That yeah. Salt water is an impressive destroyer. Of yeah, of a lot gear. of stuff. Yeah, if, for sure. Any, of any gear in the Any salt. boat owner out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you kind of know what salt. Yeah, is no doubt about it. Hey, I might add too. Uh, happy birthday, Arnie, who's just stepped up here. Arnie and Vista. It's his birthday today. All oh, right so. on. Happy birthday, happy Arnie. Happy birthday, Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, good morning, uh, Neil. Thanks for joining us. What's up, How you Neil? doing? Morning. Got a question. My question is, how long um, regular with this regular warm water temp are we going to start seeing negative effects on our kelp forest? It's a good question. I was thinking about that yesterday. Yeah. yeah probably won't take long yeah i know i think it's because we had a great comeback of the kelp especially in yeah. certain areas really really good comeback but it doesn't take long for 80 degree temperatures what's interesting though is um i was reading an article about how um 50 feet down the water's cold really um and that's because of there's been no upwelling because there's been no wind right so that's why the surface temperature is so hot so how does that affect the base of the kelp forest? Maybe not, you right, know. Yeah. So that's it's going to be point. interesting to see. I don't know what the scientists take on it, but that's kind of Pete's take on it. Is right. If it's still cold down below where these, where these kelps are, 
are growing from Should at the base. Be healthy. Well, we got to hope so. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Right on. There's certainly a lot of kelp on the beach right now, which is yeah. not good. Right? I know. I know. In those years when um, when we had that crazy hot water, you know, a few years ago when it was 80 degrees, that was one thing you'd hear from like the urchin divers and things like that. That it was it was hot from the surface to the bottom. You know, yeah. on, on the floor of the ocean, it was hot. You know, where they, where they were diving. So that would be Big difference. I think that would be good news if it yeah. was not. You know, if that's not the case right now. And that's yeah, that's the thing. I guess it's down at, uh, below the thermal climb there, it's cold, yeah. and which is it's, it's kind of normal for us. And good news. So we'll see. I guess so we got the best out. of both. Yeah, worlds. exactly. We'll so. take it. We'll <laughs> see. And the only thing is, it just go a little bit deeper and bring more tune up. This yeah. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be fine. Yeah, indeed. Right All right. Thanks Thank for you. coming down Thanks, to North Neil. County Ford this morning. All right. Hey, with that, we're going to find out what's going on in the Baja. It's time to talk to the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Castors. Today, the catch board is sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Not only do they offer the best processing for your fish when you return to the San Diego Landing, now with Fish Pros the Market, you can purchase fresh fish, smoked and jerky fish, and their famous tuna burgers at their convenient Liberty Station location. Fish Pros have become famous for their line of smoked spices, rubs, and salt, as well as their smoked cheese. You can pick up some at their Liberty Station location, stop by and taste it. You will be hooked. Let's talk to the cast man, Richard Castaneda from Cast Tours. Buenos dias, Cast. Hey, Ricky, Pedro. Hey, and you got the real you got the real guru there. You got the real, the real expert guru right <laughs> here. He's the real deal. <laughs> That's indeed true. Hey man, uh fishing is uh turning on at, down in the uh, southern Baja from Loreto all the way down to San Jose Little Cabo and Cabo and La Paz. Um some great fishing going on. We'll start with uh Loreto. Our good uh, friend down there, Daniel Talamantes, uh, reporting some very good Dorado fishing this past week. Uh, nice quality fish, averaging 15 to 20, some 30 to 40 pound bulls. Also, uh, yellowtail still being caught uh, up around Punta Pulpito and San Bruno area there. Some nice quality uh, yellows, 15 to 20, and occasional 25 and 30. Um, also, a lot of pargo this time of year in Cabrilla. They're doing very well there. Bait situation is excellent, both sardinas and uh, Macarela, uh, mackerel, and uh, of course we get down into La Paz there. Um, Saravo Island is uh, really uh, providing some great action on some uh, bigger great tuna. Um, a lot of fish being lost, lost because the guys are um, using some lighter line and uh, there's some you know one hour, two hour battles. Um, and like I say, they're not giants, but they're you know good quality, 60, 80 pound uh, yellowfin, and uh, so guys going down there uh, grew up a little bit heavier heavier line uh most of the fish are taken on uh sardinas uh chunked and live bait um also a good wahoo bite was going on uh off that southeast end of Saravo around Roca, uh, Roca Montaña inshore um very good for roosters big roosters around Las Arenas up to 50 60 pounds out of the bay there they've been going up toward Espirito Santo Island there and they're finding some good Dorado action there. Also uh around the Sarabo Island area, some good Dorado. Um really excellent Dorado fishing going on down there. Uh San Jose del Cabo there, our good friend um uh, Eric Brixton of Gordon Banks Pongas reporting uh some uh, really good fishing up in that Sea of Cortez area, anywhere from the uh inner gordo up to um the Iman Bank, Vinarama and San Luis. Uh, that tuna is in there pretty solid right now. Nice quality fish. I've heard of fish up to 100, 100 pounds over being taken there. Not a lot of them, but they're mixed in with the smaller grade fish. And when I say smaller grade, 30, 40, 50 pound fish. So some really good uh, uh, action going there on the on the yellowfin. Um, Dorado, same thing there. Uh, very good Dorado bite going on there. Uh, most of the fish 10 to 15, occasional 25 and 30. And there was a little flurry of uh, wahoo. Uh, by going on uh, this past week. Uh, best action was on the uh, Rapalas, uh, the deep divers there, doing real well. The uh, X-Raps, uh, at, uh, darker colors, working real well there. And, of course, excellent bait situation down there with sardinas um, and um, the caballitos. Anyway, that's the report for this week. Just to let uh, some of the guys know, if you want to get into one of the best Pesca Panama trips going and get into those big tuna next uh, next April, um, I've got uh, a spot open for two guys and up to three guys. Um, give me a call at uh, Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or on the web at www.casttours.com. And we do 
uh, have a bunch of other trips to sell from uh, Loreto to uh, La Paz, East Cape, San Jose del Cabo, mainland Mexico, Central America. We can help you out wherever you want to go. Hey, Cass, I know uh, that already for our trip next May to Loreto at the La Mission Hotel, we're already filling up. So if you don't wait too long on that one, I think that's going to fill up very, very quickly. Yeah, that's going to be an outstanding trip. Uh, good yellowtail fishing. Of course, we'll have uh, plenty of goodies to hand out and some great prizes for the guys catching the top three big fish down there. So anyway, um, same thing. Give me a one. call on that. Yeah, and uh, we'll look forward to having you in the Mighty 1090 studio next Sunday, one week from tomorrow. I'll see you then, man. All right, and see talk you, to you next Saturday, Cass, man. What's your phone number? 800-593-6510. Talk to you guys then. All right. See you, Cass. Right. All right, let's continue, let's continue on with Let's Talk Hook Up and want to jump into the phones. And yep. We're going to talk to Paul, calling us from Raleigh, North Carolina this morning. What's up, Paul? Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Hey, gentlemen. How are you? Great. What's up, Paul? Hey, I just want to shout out for Ken. Uh, I've had a lot of my real service by you. Good stuff, Ken. And matter of fact, they're going to send a TLD 50 LRS for service for you. Great. Thank you. All the way from North Carolina. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And number two, Pete, happy birthday. I know you've got a birthday coming up. And you and I have the same birthday, so I know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And number, yeah. Yeah. number three, Ricky, congrats on your engagement. A lot of broken hearts out there. Anyway, um, Thanks, buddy. Uh, what's up with the iCast? I know I haven't listened for a few weeks. Any new toys? Yeah, well, there, there were some uh, really, really cool things. That Tranks 200 was one that really caught my eye. Did you see see uh, that yet? I have. I have. We, yeah. we have it ordered. We you ordered up, yeah. It, yeah. It's coming out, I believe, in September or something yeah. like okay. that. Yeah. And, uh, boy, AFCO really cleaned up this year. Their new uh, line of rain gear the and hydronaut. foul weather gear, the Hydronaut, that stuff is unbelievable. Lesser in price and the, the number of features on it just unbelievable. Oh, that's cool. I didn't yeah. know it was less surprised. That doesn't ever happen. Yeah. They don't ever make it better yeah. and cheaper. They that's cool. better <laughs> and cheaper. Yeah. Right on. And and so there's and there's so many new things, new exciting things coming out. It's 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 pretty amazing. I know we just got our first shipment of that new Corrado DC. Oh, um, we're that's really excited right, about that. We got to play DC. with that in the shop a little bit and oh, the thing that blew me away with that one was same deal was that it was lesser expensive yeah. than, you know, the you, anytime there's something ultra cool, ultra high end feature like that, you know, you always we always would have to guess there's a five to six hundred dollar price tag sure. attached to it, and these things are under three hundred bucks. Like, we, yeah, bucks. we're we're really stoked. That, it's a cool yeah, that was best in show too. That's so, awesome. Yeah, from Shimano, another another great product. So they, lots of good stuff coming up coming our way every so, year. Something for your El Salto trip for sure, Paul. Absolutely. Thanks. That, all right, thanks for calling us from North Carolina, Paul. I appreciate that. Are you listening to us on our Let's Talk Hook Up app? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right, that app has worked out great for us. So if you haven't downloaded the app, uh, do like Paul did. Get the, yeah. get the app and Make listen live or listen to archives for sure. Thanks for the call this morning. Mike uh, O'Connor is here. He was up casting before. We'll get his casting report as he steps up to the mic here at North County Ford in Vista. Good morning. Hey, hey morning. So Mike. Mike how would you cast? do? Yeah. So I've got a question but a comment first. Back in the 70s, I went fishing out of Mission Bay, and we got a boatload of chovies. We're going out the jetty. We look back, and our bait's going belly up. So I was wondering if there's been any word this year of, like, sport boats or private boats having a problem maintaining their bait or losing their bait, because that's a costly something yeah. if you go out and your bait's gone. It's tough this time of the year. You know, the Everingham Brothers uh, Bait Company, I know, in San Diego, Mission Bay, and Dana Point do a phenomenal job. And I know your bait hauler in Oceanside does a great job, James. too, right, yes. James? Yeah. Um, but it's warm water. You know, gosh, when you take stuff from, you know, cold water into warm water, it has a, you know, it's, right. it's a, shock, it effect. a shock factor. And, you know, we're getting readings of 80 degrees yeah. along the coast. Man, that can't be good for the bay, right? <laughs> just, yeah, when I told friends years back, you know, they're like, no, the water doesn't get that warm up here. But here we are again, yeah. decades it, later. It is surface water, but that's where these guys right. are living right now, and for sure. I think you just need to pack it a little bit light. You need to give, you know, True. you need to give more, you room. know, your bait more room, a, a better bait system. Will make a world of difference. I mean, we've been taking bait 
every week and and not you know not necessarily having the problems but not Good. packing it very very tight either Good. like you know if you have a if you have a tank that holds three scoops bring two if you have a scoop that holds two bring one if you have one that bring one take a big half cuz half a scoop of perfect living bait is going to do you much better than trying to cram as much as you in cuz you want to be able to chum you know, take Buy a full scoop and have them put half in your tank and the other half in a five-gallon bucket. bucket and chunk it. And, chunk it. Um, you know, a, 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 a Pacific Edge tank versus, like, a factory-molded square edge tank will or make a difference. Bags. Yeah, I mean, just every it, – it's n- certainly not ideal, but having bait is still the, the, the more key to success than anything we have. Right. And just a – you know, you just ha- need to take some steps. Put less of it on. You know, drive out at 18 knots instead of 25 knots, so your base not getting pounded as hard. And you know, somebody told us a really good one. I think it was Mark Wish. Like, uh, we all do the same thing. You get on the boat and you run out to the bait receiver and you put all your bait on board and you haul ass offshore. And then you get there and you rig everything up. Put your bait on board and then float around for 20 minutes in the bay and rig Dude, everything up and let your bait get acclimated to the tank before you're, you know, before you start charging water at it. And That's right. Put your deck hose into the bait tank so you're pushing more water and more oxygen through the tank to get those things to settle a little bit. You know, the other thing, too, when I load bait on my boat is I ask the guys on the bait receiver, I said, how long has it been the receiver? How long is it? And they, sure. they'll, they'll, they'll give you an answer. Tell you, oh, yeah. it just came in this morning or it's been in here for a couple of days. It's pretty good. Eh, you might want to go light on it. And then as it goes in the tank, watch it. As it goes straight to the bottom, it's probably better than the stuff that's up on the top with all scales and everything like that. So watch how much scale is in, yeah. is in there. Watch how fast it goes to the bottom. That's a real indicator of how that bait's going to last. And again, awesome. like Ricky says, pack less, especially in the warm water. So Good advice. Always steps right. you can do. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks buddy. Glad. Thanks for coming down to North County Ford this morning. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information, and if you're lucky enough to be here live in North County Ford, we're giving away a lot of prizes. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Hey, everybody. This is Captain Dwayne Diego, four-pack charter captain, here to talk to you about Parker Boats and the good folks at West Coast Marine. When it came time to start Pinnacle Sport Fishing and get my own boat, there was only one choice. I wanted a Parker, and there's a real good reason for it, the fishability and seaworthiness. I've been fishing on Parkers for years now, and I know the abuse they can take. Parker Marine builds a heavy-duty, industrial-strength boat, probably overbuilt, but that's what I need when we're out 12 hours a day, over 300 days a year, running charters. The guys at West Coast Marine built me one heck of a fishing boat. From the custom tower with steering and throttle controls to the backup bait pump system, my Parker 2520 XLD will deliver me to the fishing grounds reliably and safe. Take it from me. If you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, honest deal, you need to see Kevin Kelly at West Coast Marine, located at 1555 Newport Boulevard in Costa Mesa, or check them out and their inventory and information online at westcoastmarine.com. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose baits, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. The Yamaha Outboard Summer Power Sales Event is here. Until the end of August, eligible new select 90 to 200 horsepower four-cylinder four-strokes include two free years of Yamaha Extended Service. And eligible new 2.5 to 75 horsepower four-strokes include up to $500 in dealer credit. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Visit your local Yamaha Outboards dealer today. Offer ends August 31, 2018. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. See authorized participating Yamaha Outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. A few years ago, Shimano introduced the Tranks 500 reel, and it changed the way we cast for big fish. Now, by popular demand, Shimano has created two new sizes. Introducing the Tranks 300 and 400. Available now at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks is the dream reel for throwing big baits and catching big fish. X-Ship and HEG Tech technologies combined to provide massive cranking power with a smooth, effortless retrieve. Plus, Shimano's new Core Protect water-resistant technology provides long-lasting durability in the harshest environment. The new Tranks 300 and 400 are available in two gear ratios and two different handle designs to cover all fresh and saltwater applications. See the new Tranks 300 and 400 at your local Shimano dealer. Tranks, it's not just a new reel, it's a weight of fish. Check Shimano.com for all the details. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. All right, Ken Corwin, Ken's Custom Reels in Oceanside. We're here at North County Ford in Vista. 
They have the summer sales event with incredible deals. If you came down to North County Ford, talk to one of the great guys here about making a deal of a lifetime right now on a new Ford car or truck. I know I love my 2018 Ford Explorer Sport. That, yeah. that car, I'm telling you, so many features, it's an SUV. It's, like a rocket it's ship got everything it. on it. And, and <laughs> power, cool. man. I mean, you put the foot in that thing and it, it goes. It's, it's really, I mean, the Ford is really, every year, takes new leaps on to uh, making better vehicles for you. So check them out here at North County Ford here in Vista. And uh, come on down and meet Ken and uh, have a chance to win some prizes and uh, all those great casting contest prizes, too. Victor, or Hector, excuse me, local guy, Hector from Vista. Hector, you uh, hanging around here? There he is. Thanks for coming down, Hector, to North County Ford. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I have most. This is kind yeah, of you high. can bring it down there. Just adjust <laughs> right okay. there. That's okay. I could. I could. Yeah, you turn turn down the mic there. There, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Ah, perfect. Oh, that's better. Hey, uh, mine's mostly a complaint. I I like to fish out of uh, Point Loma. Uh huh. And I've been on trips and then come back and a lot of people have gotten their cars towed away. I mean, parking is hell over there. It is. Do you know if they're ever going to do anything about that? Because, man, it's, it's tough over there to find. Yeah. Part. We usually have to park a mile away and then yeah. lift it over there to, yeah. to, to go. We so. feel your pain, and we deal with that pain every day there down at the landings because <laughs> Ricky works there every day. I work there every day. And it's, uh, it's not a pretty sight. And, you know, the bottom line is the port has been very uncooperative. What they were supposed to be, they committed to building a parking yeah. structure, and then they went, no, nah, we're not going to do it now. And it's, it's a huge problem. They have not done the right thing, and that is put together a parking structure plan. I know Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing and Fisherman's Landing Tackle has been working on a daily I, basis I, with those guys. I, I wish people could see the amount of time, we, like, which we don't have. You know, it's the busiest time of year and busiest summer that we have. And, you know, we've got so much stuff to do with the tackle store. I just wish people could see the amount of time that he commits to dealing with that. And just the frustration is just crazy. Crazy. I mean, it, I can assure you, it's not for lack of want or funds or anything else. The amount of the amount of money that the boat owners and captains and landings have put into, you know, the parking situation, which just gets wasted by the port on, you know, we're going to do a parking survey and decide what we need to do. And like you say, committing to building the structure, we finally, you know, our, our you know, our, our our prayers have been answered. We're finally going to get it. And then exactly a year later, after you know a X amount of dollars for feasibility studies. They just say, "Okay, oh, yeah, we're not going to do that yeah, after, after all." That. Yes, you, yes, you definitely need it. You know, all the all the fees, you know all the reports show. Yeah, for sure, we need to put it in. But yeah, we're just, we're still not going to yeah. do it. And the money is just out. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's, yeah. it is what it is. It's not the city. It's the port. It is. Yeah, it it port, is extremely yeah. frustrating. I will say though that the parking right now is the best that it has been with that North yes. Harbor redevelopment. You know, there are three there are three lots that all exist now that did not exist before. That, that what used to be the frontage road has been turned into a lot of parking, um, so that's a big bonus. The pay lot in between the Best Western and the Holiday Inn, it's called the Westies lot, uh, that used to be a paid lot. It's now a free lot, um, and if you're on a long-range trip, you know, it's a free lot for 72 hours, but if you're parked in there and you're going on a trip longer than that, you can see um, whoever signs you in, you know, what, whatever long-range boat you're going on, they'll write you a parking pass. You can stay there for two weeks, totally free, so... Yes, we totally feel your pain. It is for sure frustrating. But with that said, the parking is in the best scenario that it has been. Yes. And, I mean, no matter how difficult the, part, the port is, we're not going away. And I, I assure you, the powers that be, they work so – they put so much money and time and effort into it. So we'll yeah. get it out of them at some point. It's just been a very, very difficult road. Frustrating. And, and, um, and, and to your note there about being towed, uh, word of caution, don't park in the two-hour spots. Yeah, I mean – don't park in the Pizza Nova spots. Don't park in the Sun Harbor spots. You will be towed. We see it every day. It happens. So. Yeah. They also just did a, I mean, just to ease that up, too, they made it, I mean, and I mean this, you know, I mean this for people like me. They made it dummy proof. You know, now the spots that are 72 hours have a giant painted, yep. giant painted stripe. You know, this one's 72 hours. This one's, this two, one's two hours. hours I mean, yeah. they, they, uh, there used to be like a little teeny sign when you pull into the parking lot, and a bunch of people got... You know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and you're fired up, and you're half awake, and you're going fishing. That that caught people before, but now, you know, for guys like me, it's pretty dummy-proof. So. Yeah, for sure. So, 
All good, Hector. Yeah. We'll see you down Thanks, there. Thanks, Hector, for coming down. Appreciate the uh, Thanks, coming guys. down to North County Ford. Hey, speaking of which, there's been a lot of changes in Oceanside Harbor, haven't, hasn't there, Ken? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, been, what's going on? I mean, I'm kind of out of the loop on the whole Oceanside thing. Well, so, there's, so now there is, uh, there are two different uh, fishing operations, sport fishing operations. Helgren still, still exists. Um, they are no longer in the location they were. Uh-huh. Um, that has been taken over by, um, I think it's Oceanside Sea Center, or not sure the the name of it. Uh, of it yeah. But um, the Chabasco is in there. Um, uh, Joe Cassiolo and the Sea Star is in there. Mm-hmm. Um, the Flager Institute is in there. Okay. Um, on the docks where Helgren's boats used to park, okay. and the building that they used to be in. Okay. Helgren's has uh, one dock that they use. Um, which is where the 95, if you're familiar with the area, where the 95 used to always dock, that is Helgren's That's dock Helgren's now. Dock. Okay. So they park the boats over at the old um, Coast Guard uh, dock. Okay. And then they load whatever boat is needs loading at that, at that dock. So they actually they, they have... Boat rolls right. in. When it's time for three-quarter, the three-quarter rolls in. And, and, and so on. So they have their own little um, tick check. Okay. Uh, uh, at the top of the what you what is the commercial docks, okay. they built a little uh, kiosk over there. All right. Where you can tick it up, get your license, and and get on a Helgren's okay. fishing boat. So we have a lot of half day. Yeah. Vessels. Yeah. In Oceanside. Come on. Yeah, a lot of more vessels now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's so now there's uh, well there's a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For sure. You got a lot of choices. Yeah. And parking. They have parking across, yeah, and across there, the way there. And there's 72-hour parking over there by that little kiosk. And then the, there's all the free parking on the backside. On there. the backside where yeah. it always was. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Dave Meyer, he's here with Mom again. <laughs> Good morning. What's up, Dave? Hi, Dave. Uh, Ken, I uh, brought my reels to you last year. did an awesome job. And uh, you also gave me one of your cans of uh, your, uh, bluefin that you made. That was really, really good. Uh, so I really cool. loved the uh, garlic uh, bluefin that you guys made. Yeah. I was curious, have you guys heard of any spottings on any of the Wahoo at like the Nine Mile Bank under any kelps or anything? I've heard a lot yeah, yeah. of rumors. <laughs> yeah, we uh, talked I, about I, that I, earlier. Dude. I have yet to see a picture of a fish. Um, I'm not saying they couldn't be there. Um, but going back to what Pete was saying, uh, w- when we had that fish a couple years ago, like the diver said, it was 80 degrees the to the bottom. bottom. The surface water temperature is exciting. It's 80 degrees, um, but that's not necessarily um, the highway that those fish need to travel on up here. Right. Do I hope they show up? I hope I hope we all catch a wahoo this summer. Yeah. Um, but I, but so far it's all rumor. I feel the same as Kim, and I want it so bad, but call you a cynical or a glass half empty guy, which I'm normally not. There's just n- nobody. Nobody in the world that fishes that doesn't have a phone with a camera in their pocket. And <laughs> in the days of social media and everything else, I just it's just uh, it's so hard to believe that there wouldn't be one. So, yeah, I, I've heard every rumor you can imagine. And Ken's always my source for it because the, the rumors in San Diego that you can't track down, they're always because, oh, the fish got weighed in Oceanside. Yeah. That's the reason you wouldn't see it. Ken yep. knows every fish in the world that, yeah. gets, that gets weighed in an Oceanside. That's that's the thing. So Ken's always our uh, our Oceanside rumor uh, defunker. We hope it happens. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, but and, and anybody listening out there, if you got yeah. a photo of your Wahoo that you caught or yeah. your friend's Bring it. Wahoo, yeah, trust me. I, yeah. Send it. You guys. With that. today's paper on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not, not two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah. interestingly enough, um, uh, I was down at Rosarita earlier this week and. Um, the water was super warm on Sunday and Monday, and then the wind blew a little bit on Tuesday. Went in the water the next morning. It was, I mean, five, six degrees colder. Yeah. Shows you that, that it's a lot of surface temperature. Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take, take it. it. We'll take yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for coming down, Dave. Good job, Appreciate Dave. Appreciate that very much. Hey, Ron Lane's on the line. Good morning, Ron, from Fast Lane. Oh, good content. morning, guys. Hey, we're uh, very excited. This is our third of four opportunities for people to qualify to win that Hobie Mirage Drive Kayak from Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay. And we're very grateful to you, uh, as well as Jeff from Sejos Kayak Fishing, uh, for donating that incredible grand prize. Oh, man, that kayak fishing is fun. I'm telling yeah, you. Is. And I broke my record this year. I was, in a, I was in a kayak for 13 hours straight. 
Whoa. <laughs> I think you were there. <laughs> wow. That so, was the uh, that was the Islander trip out to San Clemente Island. What a what a great trip that was, Steve. That was an That's amazing cool. trip. And we're gonna do it again next June too, so stay tuned for that. So big event going on uh this next week down at Fast Lane, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The August tenth, Friday night, we're we're, we're showing. This is the last showing of the fine reps in the sea uh, movie that Hayden made, and uh, Hayden and his crew. You know, it's got Dwayne Diego in it, Greg Trompas. It's got all the guys on a surf trip down the Baja, and they surfing and fishing. And oh my goodness, the footage is epic. And we're going to be showing it at the shop, and we're going to naturally have a lot of prizes. Tons of giveaways, and then the Traeger guy, Rory, is going to be cooking up the famous salty dog. And I got to tell you, I never tasted a hot dog so good. When you put pulled pork and a little bit of coleslaw and jalapenos on that thing, oh, my goodness. So salty dog will be free. It'll be a blast. Wow. Free salty dogs, free. uh, You have a sale on Salty Crew gear. You have a lot going on. Yeah, and if you want to see the trailer for the movie, just go to our Instagram, which is, you know, Fast Lane Kayaking. And then you can push the button and watch the trailer. It'll get you revved up. Good surf, good fishing. I mean, that that kid that does all the aerial surfing, um, Matt Miola, he jumps in the water in the, on a big old giant paddy, and he's surrounded by Dorado. It is the most Incredible footage I've ever seen. I mean, you see these Dorado just attacking this sardine and in slow motion with real high quality film. It's like an old surf movie when everybody just starts hooting. That's awesome. That's, that's cool. cool. Well, and that's this Friday. Uh, from what time to what time, and how much does it cost, Ron? Oh uh, yeah, the cost is free. Just get down there, be ready to have some salty dogs, meet all the guys from uh, you know the salty crew. The Salty Crew team will be there. I think Jeff Maiani and Afrin Aputin just get back from a trip, and they'll be arriving, and maybe they'll be there too. At, at any rate, um, if you show up at six, right when the store closes, we're gonna have we're gonna start the grills and get it all going. And the movie should show right at just around when it gets dark enough to show the movie. And uh, you know we've got a huge sale on Salty Crew, you know, gear too. So it'll be a it'll be fun. It'll be a fun night of getting together and talking fishing. All right, fantastic, Ron Lane, Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay, the the spot right now. I bet you're busy. Oh yeah, it's been great. I got to tell you, I'm I, we're working overtime, but we've got some really great deals on Hobies that I bought. I got a bunch of Outbacks and Pro Anglers at prices you just wouldn't believe. I found, I went up to the factory and found a whole bunch of earlier model years. But they put the new Mirage drives in them, so I got these deals that just you can't believe it. If anybody shop for a pro angler, now's the time. Wow. Good to know. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Fastlane yeah. Kayaks yeah. in Mission Bay. The hey. Salty movie is coming up this Friday. Free free food, free entertainment, free prizes, and free movie this Friday. Oh, yeah, Saturday. and if you're, if you're interested in checking out one of the kayaks, we'll have demos right then, too. We'll have boats in the water. It'll be a blast. Good, good Friday good night. All right. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate it. Hey, the call. thanks, you guys. Hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk hookup coming to you. Another full hour. Plus, we're going to check in with the Kent Report, find out what's biting all the way up and down the coast. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Fisherman's Landing is the top choice in local and long-range fishing. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Our hardworking crew is always looking for ways to improve your fishing experience. We offer the finest open party trip from one to three days, the best charter boats available, and of course, our world-renowned long-range fleet is second to none. We are proud to say Fisherman's Landing is now a full-service sport fishing operation, offering half-day trips on the Dolphin, and now, for the first time in the long history of Fisherman's Landing, we have three-quarter day open party trips on the Liberty. We built the Liberty specifically to offer a better experience. Run by veteran captain Taro Takeuchi, the 85-foot Liberty is the first open party three-quarter day boat to offer bunks for your comfort. She also has huge bait capacity and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big galley and two interior heads with showers. Our open party trips from half day, three-quarter day, or one to three day trips can be easily booked online 
at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Hey, it's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. When bad weather and rough seas send other boats back to the dock, Sea Keeper allows you to fish longer and fish harder, even in the roughest conditions. Don't believe it? Just ask those that have put them on their boat, like Captain Pete Grosbeck and other professionals. Fishing in the trough with Sea Keeper basically eliminates the trough. Sea Keeper's newest offering, the Sea Keeper 3, is optimized to eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on boats between 30 and 39 feet. Even better, this gyro is so small it can fit inside a customized leaning post and operate on your current battery system, making installation fast and easy. Watch for new products coming soon. The Sea Keeper for boats. Think about it. Eliminate up to 95% of boat roll on your boat. That is a Amazing! To learn more about how Seakeeper can change your life on the water and to schedule your free demo, go to Seakeeper.com. Take a ride, be amazed. Seakeeper. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. It's summertime in San Diego, and that means a couple of things. The getting is good for yellowfin and bluefin off our Southern California coast. A road trip to bag some high Sierra trout sounds like a great weekend. And the Ford Summer Sales Event has started at your San Diego County Ford dealers. In fishing, we love to get away, and we love to have the best gear. And right now is the perfect time to upgrade to a brand new Ford truck or SUV. The absolute best piece of fishing gear you could have. During the summer sales event, your San Diego County Ford dealers have great offers on a wide variety of trucks and SUVs, including great financing and cashback offers on some of the most popular models. They've got deals across their lineup to get you into the perfect size SUV for you. And they've got deals on F-150, Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. Great payload and towing capabilities make it the perfect piece of tackle. Learn more at buy. FordNow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. No matter what the season, Rapala Lure should always be a part of your fishing arsenal. It's time to stock up on the trolling lure that's proven to catch more fish. X-Wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every X-Wrap mag runs perfect right out of the box. All have extreme action with a controlled, deep diving, aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium VMC hooks and an irresistible rattle. Here's some big news. X-Wrap mags now get up to 40 feet deep with the new X-Mag 40. Spool up with suffix line, which was designed and recommended for trolling X-Wrap mags, and you have a deadly combo. You should also check out Rapala Husky Magnum heavy-duty high-speed trolling lures built for battling large game fish. The Husky Mag lures, like all Rapala lures, are built tough and available at a great price. So, bottom line, the X-Wrap Magnum or the Rapala Husky Magnum are the ultimate trolling lures for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. A Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire lineup at Rapala.com. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. 